Hey guys, welcome back. Glass Moon Gaming, another music reaction here for you today. Uh, well, it's time to reveal the winner of this week's poll. Um, this week, with 44% of the vote, the winner is Ninjin Isu with Heartless Scat. I can definitely say that I've never heard of this band before it was suggested by a few people. Um, and on my list, I have a note written next to this one that says Prague Epic. So, I mean, someone told me that's what this is. Um, we should know by now that I love progressive music, so I'm ex very, very, very excited to hear this. Uh, so we're not going to waste much time here. If you guys are looking to support the channel, the best way to support is by joining our Patreon. Um, that's where you'll find block videos and other exclusive content. Um, click the link in our Patreon in the description below for full details. Any support is appreciated, but never necessary. Also, don't forget you can show your support by liking, subscribing, hitting the notification bell, and leaving any suggestions in the comments section below. It all helps our channel grow. Um, let's get to this. The original video link will be in the description below. All right, here we go. All right, initial impressions. First thing I gotta ask, are they, are they really a trio? It sure appears that way. Um, and that is awesome. I also need to ask, how long have these guys been around? Um, the reason I ask that is they all seem, well, how do I put this? They all seem older uh, than what I would expect. So that would lead me to believe that they've been around for a while. Uh, like I said, I don't know much about this band, but if they are a prog trio, does that make them like a Japanese rush? Huh. I guess we'll find out. Uh, we'll go back a little bit and catch this. I like that line. All right. Okay, yeah, this is, this rocks. Uh, nice heavy little verse there. Not real heavy, but like a heavy-ish to it. But it's like, I don't know what I was expecting, but that voice is not what I was expecting to come out of him. 
Um, I don't know why. It just wasn't, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It just wasn't what I was expecting when I saw that. Uh, this is very, very interesting. So far, I'm only two minutes in. We got a while to go. I think I'm really gonna like this. I like that slow double bass he's doing. He's driving. I'm going to guess that the Shabba Dabba Dia section is the quote unquote scat part of it, since, you know, that's pretty famous for being, you know, shoobity bop 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 she dop, uh, scat type music. Uh, I mean, the, everything's, the, the, the guitar is great, the bass is great, drummer is great. I like the choice that he's doing. And I say it's a slow double bass only because I, I could see in one of the clips that both of his legs were moving. But that could also easily be done with a single pedal. Because um, he's not going very fast at all. But I like the choice that he is doing in double pedal. That's the way I prefer to actually do it too. But um, It's, uh, man, it's, this is, this is, this is pretty damn cool. <laughs> Oh, it's a nice bass sound. Very dirty. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely a prog progressive song. Um, you can tell by, you know, the way everything changed right there. Uh, we'll go back and see if we can catch some of that again. Catch that transition. pretty good solo so we're gonna see, catch it again i like the way i like the bass player style he like uh the way he dances around and stuff and makes funny faces i don't know if it's intentionally for the gig 
or the getup, or if that's just the way he plays, there's no disrespect meant in this at all. Um, it makes me smile. It's like we have three totally different styles of people here. We have the drummer, who is like a 60s, 70s, you know, I'm going to call it a flamingo shirt, even though it's not. But that style of thing with the hair. We have the singer and guitar player who is dressed more traditionally. And then we have the bass player who reminds me of the Grim Reaper. And again, no disrespect to that at all, but reminds me of the Grim Reaper a little bit. Uh, and that solo was that solo was uh, was pretty decent. It fit everything perfectly. Let's uh, let's catch it again. again. Yes, looks like we're going to get an outro solo here. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is definitely different than what I was expecting, but it's definitely a prog epic for sure. It is uh, definitely good music, and the musicians, again, are definitely not what I was expecting when, when I was going to get this. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting, but all of this kind of, wasn't what I expected. Let's finish this out.
<laughs> yes, get it. All right, awesome. Let's talk about this. All right, the song was everything I would want from a prog song, nonetheless. I mean, this is definitely a definitely not prog metal. I don't think a little bit, a little bit more prog heavy rock in my opinion, or hard rock. Um, but it's on that cusp. It's on that cusp. Um, I loved it. I mean, I like this. I love the song. The song in itself, great. The visuals of this were absolutely stunning. Um, their their location where they shot the video, freaking phenomenal. Uh, I really, I'd be a place I'd love to visit. <laughs> uh, the vocals again. I had the I had the lyrics up. The closed captions. I believe this is the song someone asked me to leave the lyrics or the closed caption on to get the meaning. To me. It's really distracting to read them, but I did leave them on there. I'll check them out more in depth um, at a later time. Um, my biggest problem with translating lyrics from any other language to English is that, especially on an epic song with a lot of meaning and stuff, a lot that's deep, a lot of times the words don't get translated in the same feeling. Like the words become too literal. Uh, when that wasn't the original intent of the song. So it doesn't come across the same and doesn't flow as nice if you're trying to like sing along with the melody uh, because the words don't exactly match up in the different languages. And that's fine. Um, you, get the, you get the feeling of what's going on, but that's part of the reason why I don't put uh, lyrics on the screen in the first place. Um, to me, they distract a little bit. I'm not able to watch what's going on in a music video. Not so much of a big deal because it's uh, scenery. And I'm not going to miss too much. But in a live video, I feel I might miss too much of this of what's actually going on with the musicians. And that's what I'm that's what I'm ultimately here for. But I left them on this time. I was able to read some of it, but wasn't able to follow along the whole way. So I will go back a second time and just watch it, watch the lyrics, or just pull the lyrics up separately. Either one. But I'll do that off stream um, to get an idea of what this was about. I kind of got a gist, but I'm, I don't want to even try to guess right now. Anyway, that'll do it for this week's Fan Choice Friday poll. Uh, don't forget to come join me on YouTube or Twitch, and we can play some games, listen to this music, chat, do whatever. Um, link to all my social media is in the description below. Don't forget to vote for your Fan Choice Friday poll where everyone gets to tell me what to react to on a Friday. That's where we get some of our most interesting songs. I mean, this is, that's where this came from. We've had some other great songs that have been winners on that poll. Even second place have been great because I've thrown them up a second time. Uh, but yeah, that's where, that's where we get a lot of our ideas from, is that poll. So you guys get to control what happens a lot on this channel. Um, so it's real easy. Go to the community tab. Find the poll that's up there. There will be four bands listed. Whichever one you want me to react to, just pick it. Whichever one wins at the end of the week, eh, that's what I'm going to react to. Very, very simple. All right. With that, I hope everyone has a great day, and I'll catch you all next time.